What you're looking at here is uh, water running Rain over a ridge surface. surface. This is a black stone. It's slate in this case. Many times they use uh, other materials like granite, uh, either a dark or light granite, or I use sometimes uh, ubatuba, which is a dark green granite. Uh, but the point of all of this is the water is cascading downward, and it's interrupted by these ridges. I took the time to discover uh, what the angle of the ridge would be so that the water would make this pattern that you're looking at right now. Internationally renowned, Irkar's sculptures and paintings are included in significant museums, corporate, and individual collections. Eric never had an art lesson. Influenced by Egyptian art, he is a student of crazy wisdom Buddhism. Working from his studio in Venice, California, Eric Orr strives to create a sense of the void in his artworks. He says, I make a work of art as simple as the concept of zero. Eric's light in space work deals with how one charges an empty space. A bar of light seems to be suspended on the surface of a painting. The space is invested with light and luminosity emanates from the painting. Well known for his prime matter sculptures, these works combine downward cascading waves of water and fire. Made of bronze or stone, the fire clings to the flowing water and rises upward in a mixture of elements. The viewer is become by the water and excited by the fire. Eric shares a demanding artistic life with his wife Peggy and their children Elizabeth and John. To know Eric Orr in his art is to look beyond the photomaterialistic elements and experience the spirit of his unique artistic creations. His art and his love of the world is an evolving theme. <laughs> 